I'd just like to um, explain to you a little bit about the different uh, sites where we, you can take a blood sample from a rhino that's immobilized. And the normal one is in the, in the ear veins or the, the most well-known one is in the ear veins at the back of the ear. And that's quite easily accessible. But uh, sometimes you need to have a different spot as well when there's a lot of um, commotion going on around the head and you can't get to that. Or for some other reason, there's an injury to the ear or you only have one good vein on the ear and you rather want to use that for a drip. But to quickly go through the ear vein, at the back of the ear, occlude the veins at the base of the ear. You will see they nicely pop up. And then we just normally use a 21 gauge vacutainer needle that's screwed into a bulldog. And then you just insert the needle as you would do with a normal small animal. And you attach the vacutainer tube at the back and you will see the blood clearly pouring into the container. Like I said, that's the easiest way normally. And if you just need to do a DNA sample, that's the best way to do it and the quickest way to do it. If it is a calf, however, and you need the ear veins to have access for drips and stuff like that, then there's another spot that we can use. Another spot where you can take blood from a rhino for a test sample or for a DNA sample if the ear veins is not accessible is between the toes, either the front or the back foot. doesn't really matter normally. Um, the hind foot or the back foot is a little bit easier. So it's um, between the two toes. If you look at the toes, just where the toe starts to uh, to come out of the, the foot almost, I can try to explain. If you go in there with a 90 degree angle, you push the needle in all the way, your vacutainer needle, and then you start pulling back, but you attach the tube already when you've got the needle in all the way, and you start pulling back slowly. There's quite a, a fairly big sinus that's a, a running, a venous sinus that's running along um, the toe there. And you will see as you pull it back slowly, once it hits that sinus or big vein, the blood will come in pouring into the test tube. And that's quite easy um, access for you to get blood. And you can get quite a couple of um, test tubes from that. Uh, the vein doesn't collapse as easily as the ear vein when you have to do a couple of test tubes. Um, so yeah, that's quite an easy process to follow. So I'll just quickly repeat that. Um, it's between the two toes, um, just where the toe starts to come out of the foot. So it's not at the bottom where the nail is, it's a little bit higher up. And you go in at about a 90 degree angle, so it means perpendicular. And you're going all the way and then you start pulling back slowly and uh, you will see once you hit that uh, big vein that runs uh, past there the blood will come in pouring into the test tube i hope that uh, sort of explains it thank you